Welcome to the Amazon rainforest, a land brimming with beautiful wildlife, ancient ruins, and archaeological wonders. Dive with us into a world where the unreal becomes real and mythical beasts roam free. What fascinating creatures and fantastic finds await us in this epic journey? Find out as we explore the 20 most mysterious discoveries in the Amazon rainforest. Number 20. The World's Largest Snake Deep within the treacherous terrains of the Amazon rainforest, there live gigantic animals straight from your nightmare and beasts of massive proportions that will send chills down your spines. Back in February 2024, scientists stumbled upon what can only be described as a monster snake. This new species of the green anaconda, identified as Eunectes nakajima, is the biggest and heaviest we've ever found. Imagine a colossal snake measuring up to 24 feet in length and weighing over 1,100 pounds, dominating the rugged forest with its ferocity and bizarre charm. It was the Waroni people who lived in this dense jungle that first spotted the massive creatures, and in a bid to understand them more, an invitation was sent to the scientists at the University of Queensland. Together with the local hunters, the scientists from the university set out on a 10-day expedition to the Bamano region of Baihari Warani territory. And as they paddled down the river, they finally came across something sinister lurking beneath the waters. A massive anaconda hid beneath the murky waves, waiting for the unlucky prey that'll serve as lunch. The anaconda was noticeably bigger than a typical one, and the scientists were able to capture close-up footage showcasing its remarkable size and unparalleled beauty. Green anacondas are generally the heaviest in the world, and they can grow up to 20 feet in length. But this new species far surpassed that, and although there's still little known about them, scientists are excited to conduct deep studies about their evolution, physiology, and their history, which they believe stretches back 10 million years. But that's not the only gigantic creature in this mysterious wonderland. This next one is even more mysterious. Number 19. Ancient Giant Dolphin Some 15 million years ago, a giant species of dolphins roamed the freshwater lake in the Peruvian Amazon. However, their history was lost to the passage of time until 2018, when a group of researchers stumbled upon what remains of a skull near the Napo River in Loreto, Peru. This remarkable fossil was first spotted by Aldo Benitez Palomino, the lead paleontologist for the expedition from the University of Zurich. While studying what appeared to be strange-looking rocky fragments, he discovered that what he was looking out was actually remains of an ancient dolphin species, long lost in the pages of history. By studying this piece of the dolphin's skull, the researchers figured out it was likely about 11 feet long, making it 20% larger than the modern river dolphins around today. The skull itself was about 27 inches long, and since it was incomplete, scientists believe it may have actually been larger. What makes the finding even more remarkable is the fact that fossils of freshwater dolphins are extremely rare, which is because the strong water current typically prevents the preservation of the remains. So when scientists found this one, they knew they'd hit a jackpot. The newfound species was named Pebanista lacuna, and its discovery has inspired a new wave of curiosity about what the Amazon rainforest really looked like millions of years ago. Number 18. Titanoboa. From a mythical monster to an actual monster. This is the Titanoboa, a monstrous snake that was so massive that it could swallow a whole village of people if it was alive today. This beastly creature dominated the Amazon some 66 to 56 million years ago and is considered to be the largest snake to ever live. This new, terrifying discovery in the Amazon jungle that scared scientists. It was in the early 2000s when researchers from the Smithsonian Tropical Research Institute stumbled upon the fossils of this ancient serpent deep in the jungle, measuring about 45 feet length, which is three times larger than the largest anaconda snake we talked about earlier. Based on its size, Researchers determined that the Titanoboa was too heavy to have lived on trees, so it most likely stayed close to the water, feeding on anything it wanted since it was powerful enough to take down prey of any size. He would have likely fed on crocodiles and turtles and survived on only three to four meals a year. Just imagine if such a beast was still alive today. Number 17. 
100 rock carvings. Back in 2023, a record drought hit the Amazon rainforest, causing the water of the Negro River to almost completely dry up. As a result, the riverbed was exposed, revealing something shocking. Beneath the waves were petroglyphs, etched into the rocks by human hands some 2,000 years ago, which subsequently submerged under one of the largest rivers in the forest. The images carved into the rock depict animals, humans, and even geometric shapes like circles and squares. In an expedition in October 2021, indigenous archaeologist Carlos Augusto da Silva counted more than 100 petroglyphs, all of which were drawn by the indigenous people who lived here before the water came. The water level has since returned, and the ancient artwork has been reburied underwater. However, the slight glimpse we were able to catch paints a picture of how things were many, many years ago. Number 16. Lost City of the Amazon For several decades, scientists have scoured the accessible parts of the Amazon rainforest in a bid to answer one pressing question. Was the Amazon home to an ancient civilization? Looking at the thick expanse of forest, it would seem unlikely that such a terrain would have been suitable for an advanced society many years ago. But a recent discovery may finally be the clue researchers have been waiting for. Using a special laser technology known as LIDAR, archaeologists uncovered a settlement in the eastern Ecuadorian part of the forest, rivaling the ancient civilizations found in Mexico and Central America. The revolutionary LIDAR technology penetrated the forest canopy, showcasing streets, platforms, drainages, plazas, and a complex road system that stretches for nearly six miles. It's like a whole world of its own, hidden in the unexplored regions of the Amazon jungle. Although very little is still known about this ancient civilization and the people who lived there, scientists estimate that the society flourished around 500 BC, well until somewhere around 300 and 600 BC, when it mysteriously disintegrated into rubble. By mapping an area covering 115 miles, the team of archaeologists found evidence that this settlement named Sanjay was home to a population of between 10,000 to 100,000, and it could have been one of the most advanced societies of its time. Number 15. Mapinguari. Meet the terror of the Amazon. The Mapinguari, a mythical being that has inhabited the thick rainforest for thousands of years. It's been called the Brazilian Bigfoot, however. Its appearance varies slightly from the version of Bigfoot spotted elsewhere around the world. Many who encountered the Mapinguari described it as a tall, bulletproof, and very powerful humanoid with a skin covered in turtle-like shells. They say he was extremely foul-smelling, had long hair, robust claws, and could exhibit both bipedal and quadrupedal motion, which means he could walk on either two or four legs. There are stories of the Mapinguari coming out in the middle of the night to haunt for humans. And since it was first reported in 1913, at least 80 different sightings of this beast have been recorded. At least seven other people have also claimed to have killed a Mapinguari, although no verifiable photographic evidence has ever been shown. Prior to 1993, traditional folklore typically attributes the emergence of the Mapinguari to the story of a powerful human shaman who turned into a hairy humanoid cyclops and terrorized the inhabitants of the Amazon, both humans and animals. However, as the 20th century drew to a close, some cryptozoologists speculated that this elusive beast might be an unknown primate, like Bigfoot. But what did scientists have to say about it? Well, they postulated that this was in fact not a cryptid, but a giant ground sloth. However, the problem is that giant ground sloths became extinct at the end of the late Pleistocene, which seems to render the explanation invalid. As we delve deep into the enigma of the Mapinguari, we uncover a mystery that may never be solved unless the mythical beast decides to show itself on camera, convincing the world of its existence. Number 14. Humpback Whale Back in 2019, marine biologists working in a remote part of the Amazon River were stunned to discover a young humpback whale washed ashore in the forest at a time in the year when others had already migrated thousands of miles to Antarctica. The carcass was first discovered by members of the conservation group Bicho de Agua. They located the remains by following vultures that were circling the area where the whale washes up. 
By tracing the path of the scavengers, the researchers eventually found the lifeless humpback whale some 50 feet from shore. And the big question was, how did a whale end up in the Amazon rainforest? This place was about 4,000 miles away from its typical feeding ground. And most importantly, the discovery was made in February, when sightings of humpback whales became even rarer. After conducting a deep study of the carcass, the marine biologists determined that the whale must have detached from its mother during the migration process, and it apparently lost its way, although the circumstances of its death remain unknown. The whale was likely either caught in a net or struck by a ship. But either way, the discovery of a whale carcass in the Amazon remains one of the most unexpected finds in recent memory, and many mysteries surrounding the event remain unsolved till today. Number 13. Witch Hunting 73-year-old Rosa Villar Jarionka was a member of an indigenous tribe living in the Amazon, and her brutal ending in 2016 is one of the most horrifying stories to ever come out of the Amazon rainforest. In September of that year, Yarionka was sentenced to death by a group of 40 villagers over accusations of witchcraft. Her sentence was written on paper, saying the majority had decided to eliminate her since she was allegedly giving the people cramps with her diabolical powers. Her execution was carried out in the Sharingamazu Alto area of Peru, and her remains were subjected to a terrible blaze for three days before the police finally found the fire. Apparently, the villagers were trying to burn the bones to ashes so as to get rid of the body totally. The case is a primary example of the witch hunting that sometimes happens within the indigenous tribes of the Amazon. It was eventually handed over to the authorities. However, how the whole thing later turned out remains shrouded in secrecy. Number 12. Fire-tailed Titi Monkey On a humid day in 2011, a scientist named Julio Dalfonte was walking through the Mato Grosso on the Brazilian side of the Amazon when he spotted some bizarre-looking monkeys hanging out in the trees above. These monkeys had unusual reddish-orange tails, which Dalfont described as a blaze. His interest was piqued, so he returned to the spot with his team a few more times, observing the primates in their natural habitat. After further research, the team confirmed that they had discovered a new species of titi monkeys no one else had ever found. They named it the fire-tailed titi monkey, or the Milton titi monkey. Just like its relatives, this new species lives in small family groups, consisting of a monogamous adult pair and two or three of their offspring. An adult fire-tailed monkey typically weighs about 3.3 pounds and feeds primarily on fruits. They've also been described as very social, spending their days in the trees, grooming each other with their tails entwined. However, once they detect human presence, the fire-tailed titi monkeys quickly disappear into the thick forest canopy, which serves as their perfect hiding spot to protect them from predators. This might explain why they stayed undiscovered for so long. The other intriguing thing about this new species is their vocalizations, which Dalfont and his team describe as one of the most complex in the animal kingdom. However, owing to their lack of swimming abilities, these fire-tailed titi monkeys are confined to a small space in the forest, making them susceptible to fire and other environmental hazards. Unless something is done to expand their territory soon, one terrible disaster could mean the end of their species forever. Number 11. The Boiling River Locked away in the heart of the Amazon rainforest is a natural enigma that has confounded scientists for decades. The Chennai Timpishka River, a legendary boiling river that defies conventional science. This geological anomaly flows at a temperature of about 97 degrees Celsius, capable of killing any creature that falls into it. Its history is shrouded in stories and Peruvian legends, one of which postulates that the river was birthed by Yucamama, a giant serpent spirit dwelling in the rugged Amazonian forest. The river is about the width of a two-lane road, and it stretches for four miles. While boiling rivers are not uncommon around the world, many of the others are usually associated with volcanoes. Like the fumaroles in Yellowstone, which emit water as hot as 137 degrees Celsius, from meteoric water deep inside the Earth's crust comes in contact with heated rocks. However, the closest volcano to Chennai Timpishka is about 400 miles away, 
So if it's not being powered by an active volcano, then why is it so hot? The answer lies in the geothermal gradient of the Earth. According to a theory proposed by researchers, the meteoric water falls onto the surface of the Amazon rainforest, where it finds deep-rooted faults through which it travels into the Earth's crust. The water is then heated in accordance with the geothermal gradient, creating this natural phenomenon that is both intriguing and terrifying at the same time. Number 10. Goliath Bird Eater Ever heard of the Goliath Bird Eater, the world's largest spider found within the Amazon rainforest? This gigantic arachnid is the stuff of nightmares. Weighing up to 176 grams with a leg span of nearly a foot, this tarantula rules the Amazon with its ferocity. However, contrary to what the name might suggest, the Goliath Bird Eater doesn't actually eat birds, although with its massive size, it definitely can. The typical diet of this species comprises mostly insects, frogs, and rodents. The name came from an 18th century engraving that showed another kind of tarantula eating a hummingbird. But that doesn't make them any less deadly. Their hunting ability is second to none. You see, when the Goliath pounces on a prey, it injects deadly neurotoxins into its body through its inch-long fangs, decapitating the prey before dragging it back to its burrow to consume it. However, this spider doesn't feed like other animals, and this is because it cannot ingest solid materials. So first, it liquefies the prey's inside, then gradually it sucks it dry from the outside, leaving only an empty shell. In the dark shadows of the Amazon, where terrifying animals reign supreme, the Goliath bird eater remains a primary example of the diversity that characterizes the forest. Number 9. Ancient Human Settlements For many years, archaeologists believed that a functional human civilization couldn't have existed in the Amazon rainforest. The conditions were too harsh and resources were scarce. Everything changed in 2018 when a team of archaeologists uncovered the remains of 81 lost villages in one of the most remote regions of the Amazon. Could it be possible that this seemingly untouched wilderness was actually home to countless small villages and small cities many, many years ago? These new discoveries seem to suggest so. According to findings, it is quite possible that over a million people lived in the Amazon before 1500 AD, and these are the what's left of their communities. Although what you're looking at may seem like ordinary rings drilled into the earth, scientists believe that these remnants formed the foundation of the ancient nomadic communities that used to live here. But how did these people survive in a place where rainfall is sparse and the river sits far away? No one has been able to figure that out yet. However, there is undeniable evidence that people lived here once upon a time, which includes pieces of stone tools and ceramics. Also, the charcoal nutrient blend of the area doesn't match the typical Amazon soil, a direct indication that the land was heavily farmed. Following the mysterious disappearance of whoever lived here, the only trace left behind are these massive earthworks, some of which measure over 1,000 feet across giving a scale of how large these settlements really were. Scientists believe the inhabitants were either wiped out by a genocide or disease brought by the Europeans, and as time passed by, the Amazon slowly reclaimed the territory, wiping out the traces of their existence. Number 8. Walking Trees Did you know that the Amazon forest is also home to a species of bizarre trees that can literally walk through the forest floor? What you're looking at is not science fiction, but a real palm tree that continues to captivate our imagination, leaving us with more questions than answers. However, when we say walk, we don't mean the Lord of the Rings type of trees. This is the Socratia exoriza, a tree that has evolved a remarkable method of ensuring its survival in the rugged Amazon forest. Standing at 32 to 82 feet tall, these walking trees emerge from a cone-like set of aerial roots, which are visible above the ground. Whenever the tree gets shaded by other taller trees, it utilizes these roots to move very slowly to other parts of the forest. Although the trip isn't usually long, and the tree typically travels about 65 feet from its original position every two years, the fact that the tree can literally love is mind-bending to say the least. It just goes on to prove that the Amazon is an entirely different world of its own, 
where the rules of conventional science sometimes don't apply. Number 7. The Piripkura Tribe Did you also know that within the dense, unforgiving forest of the Amazon, there are people currently living there, and have lived there for centuries without any contact with the outside world? As strange and unbelievable as this may seem, it's actually very true. Jer Kander, an agent from Brazil's indigenous agency, has been searching for the two of these tribesmen for the past 35 years, but he was searching for a man who doesn't want to be found. Tamandua, Paki, and Rita are the last surviving members of the Piripkura tribe, one of the indigenous people who inhabit the region. But after Rita married into another tribe in 1985, Tamadua and his uncle Paki were left alone to deal with the harsh conditions of the rainforest. But the forest is all the know, and never have they had contact with civilization. The government would like to keep it so, but then the loggers have continued to threaten their continued existence, and if proper measures are not put in place, they may not be around for much longer. When Agent Kander first found Paki and Tamandua foraging honey in a tree back in 1989, it was a shocking revelation for Brazil. However, the government sides with the loggers, and as they laid waste to the precious rainforest, the two tribesmen found themselves on the run. Initially, the Brazilian government reserved 1,000 square miles of forest, an area twice the size of Los Angeles for Paki and Tamandua. But over the years, they have sold most of the territory for almost nothing, and the landlords are currently fighting the protection to get back to raising the land and putting cattle on it. With the recent development, it's hard to predict whether the two men will survive the next few years. Number 6. Medicinal Plants of the Amazon There are at least 80,000 identified plant species in the Amazon, and a portion of them possess incredible healing properties that will shock you. These plants were pivotal in the advancement of pharmaceutical research and medicine, and to think that only a small percentage has even been discovered. Here's a couple of these plants and what they're used for. There's the wasai, also known as Euterpe oleracea, a medicinal plant which works great for kidney health. Its roots are often ground up and prescribed for diuretic treatment. Then there's the lapacho, scientifically known as Handroanthus impetiginosus. Most people don't know this, but 70% of all plants with anti-cancer properties only exist in the Amazon, and lapacho is one of them. This miracle plant is often used to treat cancer, alleviate pain from chemotherapy, and even fight infections. There's also the aromatic soto plant, or Ciparuna incana, a more effective alternative to nicotine patches used to cure addiction. It also works for fever. These are just a handful of incredible plants that can be found only in the Amazon, which goes on to prove that the rainforest is indeed the heart of our planet. Now it's time for our subscribers' pick. Check out this new terrifying discovery in the Amazon jungle that scarred scientists. Earlier we talked about the Titanoboa, a massive snake that could have been dismissed as a fictional being if the fossils were not discovered. This colossal reptile was once the biggest snake in the world, and its sheer size could intimidate any animal that crossed its path. It is an example of a creature that shouldn't be real, but is actually real, and it makes us wonder what other mythical creatures of the Amazon could be lurking in the unexplored regions. As of today, a large portion of this massive jungle remains untouched by humans, and we can only imagine the wondrous ecosystem that awaits the brave explorers who would eventually conquer the brutal terrain. Share your thoughts on the Titano Boa and other fascinating finds with us in the comments. Now, let's get back to more bizarre discoveries. Number 5. Jesus Lizards Famed for their incredible ability to walk on water, the green basilisk, also known as Jesus lizard, is a special species of lizard that can be found in the Amazon. The green basilisk is native to Latin America and is quite common in the region of Mexico all the way to Ecuador. They belong to the same family as iguanas and can grow up to two feet long, minus the tail, that is. So, how do they walk on water? Well, that's all thanks to their specially adapted feet which help them sprint across the water surface upright on their hind legs. They travel at 5 feet per second, ensuring that their feet only tap the water as they sprint forward. The green basilisk is usually found in the trees 
or near water sources, and not only can they walk on water, but they're also great climbers and good swimmers, capable of staying underwater for almost 30 minutes. Number 4. Wasp from Hell In October 2023, researchers discovered a new species of alien-looking parasitic wasps in the Peruvian Amazon, which is one of the most biodiverse parts of the rainforest. The giant-headed bright yellow wasp, known as Capitojopa amazonica, is the stuff of nightmares. And one of the most eerie facts about it is its feeding habits. Instead of eating its prey from the outside, the wasp stabs its host and sucks out its blood-like fluid before feeding on it from the inside out. According to Brandon Claridge, the scientist from Utah State University made the discovery. The wasp can grow up to 0.7 inches long, and it feeds primarily on caterpillars, beetles, and even spiders. Their reproduction process is also as disturbing as the way they feed. You see, to lay eggs, the female wasp first locates a host, then as soon as the host is mounted, it frantically strokes it with her antennae. If it finds it acceptable, the female then deposits a single egg inside the host by piercing it with her egg-laying organ known as ovipositor. After a few days, the egg will hatch, and the larvae that emerge will eat the host from the inside out. After consuming the internal organs, the larvae will then wear the corpse of the host like a shell until it fully develops into an adult wasp. Isn't nature just brutal and wonderful? Number 3. Ice Age Painting Thousands of images drawn in the last ice were recently discovered in the Amazon rainforest. The discovery was made back in 2020, and it remains one of the most expansive rock art ever discovered. We're talking a rock canvas eight miles long, painted by the gifted hands of the earliest settlers in Amazonia. The paintings were drawn with ochre, a red pigment frequently used as paint in the ancient world. Archaeologists believe the painting was most likely made some 12,600 to 11,800 years ago. On the painting, you will find several images and depictions, from handprints to geometric designs, to drawings of animals like tapirs, alligators, bats, monkeys, and even extinct animals. There are also paintings of humans here, depicting hunting scenes and other social interactions, and giving us a glimpse of what life was like here thousands of years ago. Number 2. Victoria Amazonica While there are millions of things to marvel at in the Amazon rainforest, the giant water lily, also known as Victoria Amazonica, is one of the most alluring of these species. The leaves of this massive plant can grow up to 10 feet in diameter, which is almost twice the length of an average person. Imagine the sheer size of this plant, spreading across the water in a beautiful display you'd rarely find anywhere else in the world. However, not only are the leaves large, but they are also fairly strong and can hold weights of up to 65 pounds, the typical size of a small human. While they may look harmless on the surface, these giant lilies are actually armed with sharp spikes on the underside, which protects them from the herbivorous fishes that want a portion of the Victoria lily for dinner. Number 1. El Mayantu the Amazon is home to a couple of mysterious beings like the El Mayantu, a goblin-like creature with a scaly body and the face of a toad. According to local legend, El Mayantu exists between the physical dimension and the spiritual world, thanks to its shape-shifting abilities which allow it to camouflage itself easily. Whether it's imitating the bark of a tree or an animal, the Mayantu blends into its surroundings, remaining invisible until it wants to be seen. Many say that he lives in the thick canopy of the rainforest. However, most Mayan two sightings have taken place in the wetlands and territories irrigated by streams. Unlike many of the other mythical creatures of the Amazon, though, El Mayantu is not an evil spirit, and the locals claim he would often come to the aid of any traveler in need, as long as they pose no threat to the wildlife. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.